This video is part of the CompTIA Security Plus course that I'm creating with Chuck and Jeremy. In this video, I'm gonna show you why it's really important that you don't lose sight of your credit cards. If you go to a restaurant and you pay, you don't wanna just give your credit card to someone and lose sight of it. It's really, really easy to skim credit cards and clone them. That actually happened to me. I went on holiday from the UK to South Africa, was enjoying a nice meal. I gave the waiter my credit card and guess what? I ended up, well, someone ended up buying a scooter, ended up buying a television and a whole bunch of other things using my credit card. They cloned my UK credit card while I was visiting South Africa and bought a whole bunch of stuff online. It's really important that you keep track of your credit cards and debit cards and other cards and don't allow anyone to have access to them. So I'm gonna show you now how easy it is to skim and clone credit cards using a device like this. Now you can purchase many devices on Amazon. Here's one example. Costs about 85 US dollars. With a device like this, you'll get a whole bunch of blank cards. So I can skim and write many, many cards using this device. I'm also using an older computer like this that has no connection to my network. So this is an older computer, no connection, so that I have an air gap between a computer where I run all kinds of weird software and my real network. So on this computer, it's detected that the device is online. Notice how easy it is to read data. So I'm gonna simply click read. I'm told to swipe the first card. So swipe it. This is a credit card. All the details are right there. You can see the name David Bumble. You can see the first part of the long number, 51865250. So it's read all that information. There's only data on two of the tracks. So. Now that I've got that data, I'll cancel this and let's write that. So swipe this card, it's been written. So there is one clone of my credit card. Let's clone another one. Two, two clones. Three for good measure, there are three clones. I have got three clones of this credit card. These white cards are duplicates of this credit card. It's as simple as that to clone a credit card. And to prove the point, let's cancel this and let's read the data. So read this card. Notice all that information. So once again, 51865250. Read another card. So exactly the same information displays. Read this one. Exactly the same information displays. I've been able to clone this credit card in the matter of a few seconds. Now this is a big device, not very easy to hide it, but you get a very small card readers and writers. Here's another example. Notice how small this one is. So this one, the MSR X6 is a lot smaller, does the same thing. One of the versions of this can actually use Bluetooth. So I don't need a computer, I could simply connect it to my phone. So if you're interested, I'll demonstrate that in a separate video. Very, very easy to clone cards. Let's try this Visa card and let's actually do something more interesting. It's gonna look weird if you walk into a shop with one of these cards. So let's make this card, this credit card, because I don't know how many people are actually gonna check all the numbers and whatnot. It is obviously possible to emboss cards with numbers and get cards of a different color. But let's read this card first. Okay, so that's red. Let's write this card. And there you go, that's been written. So if I read this debit card, notice the numbers on this start with 4659, but the actual numbers on the strip are 5186. In other words, this card. Now let's say I've got a whole bunch of cards and I wanna quickly write their details. So I wanna grab their details and then write fake cards or clone cards later. What I can do, is read to a file. I'm just gonna call this cards and I'll store this on the desktop. So I've got my cards file and what it's telling me to do now 
is swipe each card. So here's a shopping rewards card from a retailer. This one is in South Africa. So scan that, that's been written. The only date on this card is on track three. Here's a rewards card. So it gives me access to airport lounges. That's been read now. That's got data on track one and track two. Here's a airline rewards card, so Air France. That's been written. And here's my credit card, so MasterCard. And here's my Visa debit card, which actually has the same details. But basically, I've just written the details of five cards to a file. So if I cancel that and then look at my card details, I've got all the card information in this file. And then I can write from a file. So I'll write from my cards file. And all I need to do now is swipe a whole bunch of cards through here. First card, second card, third card, fourth, fifth, and I'm done. I've now duplicated five cards in a matter of seconds. And that's why chip and pin has become more and more important. But like all things in life, as they implement more and more security, hackers find ways to get around the security. So in a separate video, I'm gonna show you RFID. A lot of devices use RFID, but RFID has a lot of issues as well. Now again, this video is for educational purposes only. Please don't go and get into trouble by using devices like this. As a last test, actually, I'll just show you this device. So much smaller device. And again, there is a version of this device that uses Bluetooth. Also comes with a whole bunch of cards. So look at all these cards that I've got. So I could go and create a whole bunch of duplicates using this little machine. So all I need to do is literally plug it in. So let's see if we can read a card. So let's swipe this credit card. There you go, that's been read. Now let's see if we can write to one of these blank cards. One card is done. Second card is done. Okay, I had a right error on the third, but two's enough, I think. So let's read the card that I created. Simple as that, to use a small device like this to read credit cards and create clones of those credit cards. Again, there is a Bluetooth version of this, so you could use your phone to control this to read and write cards. So very portable, rather than lugging around a computer like this, you could use a phone and a small device like this to read and write. Be very careful with your credit cards. Be very careful with any other types of cards that you've got. It's very, very easy to clone cards such as these. Be very careful with them. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and please click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal. want to wish you all the very best.